I suppose with the Test Championship, um, this being sort of outside of that, um, I guess we can't ask for a, a better schedule leading into the, the World Cup, you know, the World Test Championship final. Um, but no, you know, England's always a, a testy proposition um, at this time of the year, and you know, the bowlers will be relishing it, but the batters are. Um, you know, having to tighten up their techniques and, and really just see what this juke ball's all about. IPL is probably the one that um, is the most high profile and, and countries move it around where the other ones don't get to see, they don't have the same, um, I guess, power. Um, no, I mean, it, it is what it is. Players want to play in it. Um, but I, you know, I hope that international cricket still has uh, relevance and, um, and priorities at, at times. Um, as long as it's, you know, things have moved around, that's that's fine. As long as things aren't starting to get cancelled and, and whatnot. But um, no, I mean, uh, it's it's something that has changed a lot from when I started um, IPL. Um, you know, movement and, and players. You know, we as a, as a team, we weren't able to play in the whole IPL. We had to come over and. Um, you know, only allowed to play a couple of weeks. We're now the, the team here in New Zealand allowed to play the whole time. So I, I think it's moved for the good. But um, yeah, I hope that the international cricket is still the pinnacle. And, um, and I'm sure if you ask most international cricketers around the world that that's, that's the case. No, I don't think so. I think, um, you know, it's hard to replace those players. They're obviously quality players, but at the same time, um, you know, the, with the amount of county cricket and the amount of first class cricket these guys play over here, um, you know, we. we we're under no illusion that's going to be a tough test. Um, you know, the players that I brought in um, obviously don't have a lot of international experience, but have played a lot of first-class cricket and, and whatnot. And you know, it's probably the word that we've used a lot. But the depth that uh, English cricket has, um, you know, produced in, in all formats of the game is, is phenomenal. And I'm sure um, going forward for their team, um, giving these guys opportunities and seeing where they're at, where they're at, um, with um, you know some senior fast bowlers at the other end, um, senior batters, um, is a good place to be. Yes and no. I think they've. Um, would be lying if you didn't think that there's some sort of um, thought towards the, the World Cup final. But you know, I, I, could, I couldn't think of a better preparation um, than playing two Test matches in in England. But at the end of the day, it is neutral venue. Um, you know, probably in terms of India um, IPL finishing early under um, you know unfortunate circumstances has probably played into their hands a little bit. Um, you know, if IPL had come, um, they would have had had a, a smaller preparation. Where now that they'll be um, you know a lot more conditioned and their bowlers getting their loads up and things like that. So um, you know, I think playing the two Test matches is definitely. Um, Gives us a, a slight advantage, but you know this Indian team's been number one in the world for a long period of time and, and have had a lot of success over here. Um, but I'm sure um, you know the battle of the bowlers um, in this in this series, you know the World Cup. But um, no, it would be it would be nice to to win the World Cup and be the inaugural winners. But in, in saying that, there's a lot of a lot of hard work and, and tool before we even get to that stage. I think it's, it's tough to compare them all, um, playing the different teams, different countries. All I can say is the way he, he holds himself, the way he goes about his game, um, uh, and, and the success he's had for our team in, in tough situations, I think. And you know the way he held himself in the, in the World Cup, um, the pressures leading into the final and, and, and after the final, I thought was fantastic. Uh, but no, I think, you know, it's, um, you know, it's it's pretty good to have a world-class player <laughs> from a batting um, point of view in your own team and, and learn off and, and hopefully pass on a little bit of knowledge as well. But um, no, I couldn't speak highly enough of him. And uh, I'm sure, you know, once he's out of quarantine, um, he likes hitting balls. So I don't think he'll be doing this quarantine yeah. very good. It's definitely up there. I think, um, you know, we're, we're playing very well at home. Uh, we know our conditions very well. Um, you know, the, the true test of how good this team is is how we play overseas, um, you know, in foreign conditions. Um, but no, it's, you know, it's a, a very good uh, side at the moment. Um, obviously, BJ Watling's going to be a big loss once he um, retires. Uh, he's been a been a rock for us behind the stumps. Um, and just that uh, knowing, you know, you've got that fighter at six or seven to come on and hopefully break the backs of, of some teams. So it would be nice to send him off um, on a winning note um, in a few weeks' time. But um, no, it's like any team. 
you know, you have different changes. Um, our team is, is going to change over the next few years. Um, you know, with BJ, myself, and, and a few of these fast bowlers probably having to tie ho and, and bring things back a bit um, in their cricket. But, you know, it's an exciting time for New Zealand cricket and, and a few of these youngsters to come through and, and show what they've got. Oh, I don't think it's our place to, to comment on that. It's, it's for other people to um, put in front of us. All we do is try and play the best cricket we can uh, as possible. But, um, you know, once we did, um, you know, we were number one team in the world. I, we came together as a team and we all sort of said a few words. And um, all I said was at the start of my career, probably that tour of England, um, I never dreamt that this, that I would ever play in the New Zealand team. That would have been, been that good and um, got to number one in the world. But, you know, there's been a lot of hard work. Uh, we weren't there for long, but um, it was nice to be there. But, uh, you know, I think um, it's nice for international career to have a bit of context and, and that final will be uh, be something. But, uh, you know, hopefully hopefully in the years to come, um, you know, this team can, can achieve a, a lot more things than uh, what they're doing at the moment.